This is why talking about mental health openly, honestly, without fear of judgment is so, so, so important because I feel like Lord AK's character really tried in his way to tell those around him that he was struggling, not just with like the complex grief of losing his brother and the feelings of, you know, being forced to kind of engage in fake behavior in the industry, but that the grief was more, it was more palpable and more tangible. And it was like entering into this space where it was unmanageable and that he needed help. And this is why it's so important to check in on your friends, even your friends who you think are okay, your friends who you think are strong. This is why it's so important to just normalize talking openly about mental health, destigmatizing completely depression, anxiety, and making it just so known to a person that they matter, that their life matters, that you are with them, that you want to help them. Because even though it's no one's fault and no one should be blamed for the mental health struggles of another, I do think institutionally and society-wise, we live in a society that demonizes mental health and that stigmatizes talking about it really frankly. And it pushes people to a place like this character in this episode of Rap Shit where there, it just, it feels like that there's no other option, but like the most, you know, and I'm not saying that by just talking about it or making it known that someone's like loved and appreciated and that they can talk to you and that you want to support them. I'm not saying that that'll immediately make things magically better, like depression and anxiety, uh, complex grief, PTSD, all of these things are really serious, complex, like not immediately solvable overnight type of situations. But I just wanted to make this because one, I think it's really important and um, a strong choice that the char- that the show, I mean, that the writers decided to tackle this subject. And that, um, you know, looking back, it's actually like really smartly written because this character did so many times like let those around him know that like he was struggling to a degree that was not manageable saying like, I just don't feel like Like, I relate to anyone here anymore. Like, I feel like they just use me, that I'm just forced to perform. Nothing has felt joyful since my brother died. Like, like these, and then, like, the moments with Shauna where he's like, what would your last meal be? Like, that might seem like to just be, like, these cute, innocent questions. But then when you think about it, you're like, oh, wow. Like, this, this character, this person was giving us advance warning and was trying to say, like, I, I'm not going to make it. And so I think that we then, this is, like, fiction is meant to mirror reality, right? Like this is meant to show us as the audience, okay, so like, what do we, what can we do for the people in our lives who are at that place? Like, how can we support them? How can we show up for them? How can we let them know how valuable they are, how special they are, how loved they are? How can we connect them with the resources, the people, the frameworks, the things that are going to make them feel heard, valued, seen, understood, and supported in their healing journey? And I don't have all the answers and I don't think there's like a hard and fast thing, but I think one of the most important first steps is destigmatizing, talking about it, like talking openly and honestly about what happened to this character and what happens to people every day who reach a breaking point with their mental health. And I think the more that we can just talk so, so openly about these things, uh, I know for even in my own mental health journey, it's been invaluable to be able to speak with my friends super, super honestly about the thoughts that I might be having on a certain day or about how much I might be struggling or how my depression and anxiety is affecting me. And so I just wanted to make this video to talk about this. And also this season of Rapture is really powerful and incredible, uh, excellent like character writing. And I'm just super invested in this season. I hope that you'll give it a watch.